All right, we're going to watch Emma's butterfly um, from a side view underwater. And as, as we look at it, again, we can kind of see how good her hand entry is right at the top of her stroke. We can see how good her dolphin kicks are with the entire time. She gets her head down low. That's really good. We like how your hands stay really, really high as well. So, like, right here where you first enter that butterfly, okay, you get your hands really, really high in the water. You get your head down. That's really good. You got your hips really high in the water. So you got a good, strong, powerful butterfly. That looks really good. You could probably even really set a little bit lower with that head if you wanted to, but I wouldn't go too much lower than that. That's really where the strength of your fly is. Um, so the see the power triangle and your fly is really, really good. And we like how you keep your hands really, really high in the top of that water. I mean, that's fantastic. As you start that pull, you can kind of see you start to press your hands out just a little bit. Uh, it looks like they're a little wide. We'll see what it looks like more straight on. Um, we, we got a set. We got an underwater view straight on too, specifically to watch what our hands look like there. So we'll take a look at that video here in a little bit. Good speed to the water. You really do a great job of accelerating your hands to the water. You're always pushing your hands back. Um, your kick could be a little bit bigger and a little bit deeper. As you can see, let me rewind that a little bit. Okay, as we can see, our kick is kind of staying anywhere to here to here, right? We can go a little bit deeper than that even, and you want to make sure it's a good full full kick all the way through. It's like we have a good strong kick here, okay, and then like almost a short kick where it's almost like you like rush to get it back up. You want to make sure it's a kick and a good deep kick. So let's make sure our kick is going a little bit better up and down. As we get into our turn, love how you stack your feet, but actually love how you're driving your legs into the wall as well. I mean, you're doing a great job of getting those feet into that wall ideally, perfectly. Now at the last second, you turn your feet to the side and you can see that your hand is here in front of your head. It's not right here behind your ear. So let's make sure we get that hand a little bit closer to your ear, but let's use this cross right here. We would like to see your feet more this position here and your knees more this position here. Whereas right now you have got your feet here and here, which means your knees are also there and there. So you're kind of pointing too much out to the side. Drive your legs straight underneath that body just a little bit better for us. And uh, it's going to make for a much better, tighter streamline off that wall. Okay. Now, speaking of streamline, yeah, great streamline, good head position, nice body line. You come off that wall perfectly. Emma, we love this. This is someone who actually listens really, really well at practice. So good job there. One, two. So only two dolphin kicks. Now, that's someone who's not maybe remembering. We always want to see how many? Six dolphin kicks. So those two right there are not quite where we want to see. We want to make sure it's good six dolphin kicks. Here's where the flags are. So you're still a good body length body length away from those flags when you're starting that first row. Okay? Good job of not breathing off the wall, but let's make sure that we get further off those walls every single time. Good. Again, bigger kicks, bigger kicks, bigger kicks, and then make sure we're doing six dolphin kicks across the board, period, all the time. Okay? Great job, Emma.